I have one section put together, which I'll walk through how I got that. I have a series of my needles. I have enough room on either end for my carriage to rest when I'm not using it. I have a strip of my chenille, which is the length of my machine, which this happens to be just a big little one. I've just got one, two, three, four sections on this one. And I'm going to take out four of my green bars. Now if you look at them, they've got little notches right about here and here. Some may be worn off. If they are worn off, you do need to replace them. Okay? And now they go center them on the bond. If you can see on here, I don't know if you see it very well, but there are two holes, notches, on the second one in and on the third one in, on the inside here. That is where these notches are going to be hooking. And you want to set these up. You have a, a V at each end. One's a concave and one's a convex. They just fit into each other and then you push them down. So you have your needles, then you have your, I use the chenille, and then you pop the green bars in place. What the chenille, I mean if you happen to have foam, go for it, I don't. It makes these um, sturdy, it gives them some support. So when you run across, so when you do this, they don't fall out, which is what you want. Without that, they would just slip slide and come on out. Now that piece is done. Okay, now I'm going to set the big one up. <clears throat> and what I have is I have an end, which I'll put that on last. I have one piece. And two piece. Now that's an end because I didn't take it off. So that's going to go over there. Okay. Now I, you have some sections that have holes in them. And when I mean holes, I'm referring to the holes in the front. And I did not sort them out when I cleaned them. So there's one. You should have one for every bracket you have. One, meaning one hole for every bracket you have. Okay. Alright. And I have three brackets. And I should have three holes. Okay, there's one. Let me see. You want them maybe on the second one in because you want it where the metal bars are. There it is. Okay. So that one's going to go on those and this one's going to go on these. Now, a bond is, consists of eight sections. Okay. Four sections are one piece of the bond. So you'll need four sections plus a, the bar that comes with it. And I'm putting the one with the hole right there. And they just snap together. Okay. Alright, now once they're together, you flip it over. Alright. Now you take your bar and you slide the bar into the holes. It should slip snugly without being too tight. If it won't push in at all, that means you're, see right here, that's not, hmm, you can't see that, can you? Why didn't you tell me? There. Right here, that, I'm going to show you, but that is not going to, my bar is not going to slide in there. And I'll explain why. See, it doesn't, it doesn't hit it. 
And that is because it's not level on this end. So you have to push it, make sure it snaps in place. And when you're flipping it back over, you're not moving this last one. So slide it in. Get a kind of push and pull and get it where you can see it. But it should go in fairly simple without too much hassle. If it's not, it only means that it's not lined up. So you got to get it to where it's lined up. And I just got it unlined up there. Okay. got to go down a little bit. But it should line up very well. Now I'm just pushing down on it, kind of wiggling it. But if it's not lined up, it won't slide in. This one's got to come up some. There we go. Now slide it in so it's holding those three pieces down. Okay. Just like that. And set that one aside. We'll put the needles on after we have all the sections created. Okay, so now we want to do the other end. So it's one. This one will go here. You'll take one of these bolts. Now you should have enough that comes with your machine. I purchased some extra ones at the hardware store because like a dummy, I took it all apart, took my bars out, and thought I could hook them all together and make it easier for transport. Yeah, no, don't do that. What it does, it makes these joins weak. Okay? So you really don't want to do that. Okay, so snap them together. You kind of, it kind of, you'll kind of hear it snap. Make sure my hole is there. And I'm doing only four. Now, when I do this one, this black thing has got to come off. I'll be putting it back on once I get it in there. Okay, and I just. <laughs> unsnapped it, which you don't want to do. This last one always seems to be persnickety. But once you're pretty sure it's lined up, and if you push it like this and then push down on it while you're keeping it lined up, that'll slide it in there right nice. Now, what you don't see when you're hooking this up when you're sliding your anchor bolt in, what it is actually doing is going between the bed and that bar. And that is what's actually anchoring it. That's why these four are hooked together. Okay. Okay, so those are hooked together. a bar so what I'm going to have to do you, we can still take care of that so set my other section apart and I take these sections okay 
Okay, and I'm just going to snap these together. Now, when I locate the bar that's supposed to be in here, I'm going to replace what I'm getting ready to do. Okay, but I don't have any holes here, so I don't have a problem. Oh, I forgot to take a piece of tape off. I thought I did. Let me get that off right quick. There we go. I'll scrape that off later. You get some of these wing nuts. If you had a machine given to you that didn't have the bar, that some someone took it apart and didn't give you all the pieces, this, this is an easy fix. Until you find the bar. which I've seen it. I just can't remember where I put it. We're just going to use these little nut and bolts. And I'm just doing them finger tight because I don't want to break the plastic. Okay. <coughs> and the next step after this is to lay in all, lay them side by side. And I will need some bolts to hook these together. Now this I'm going to put into the center. Okay. Because I don't have a holes on these. Okay, put that in there. Okay, so now I bring up my bed, and this one will hook here. Once I have it hooked, I'm going to take this, this bar and slide it down, okay? But I'm just going to put the basic bond together, so this centerpiece is not going to get put on. So we're going to take this center piece off. But I didn't want to lose the pieces. That's why I went ahead and hooked them together. Okay. So I'll take my other piece. Which this will give me a hundred stitches. Which for most things that'll work. Okay. And well, let me think. 100. Okay, because I can always add stitches if I need more than 100. What I'll do is uh, to add the stitches, I'll just take one of these sections apart and set it right in here. Okay. So I'm got, taking the nut out. Yeah, my brain's thinking. Yeah, I'm going to put the nut because I am going to, I'm probably going to Make, see, my sweat, I need more than 100 needles. For a large, you need a little bit more than 100 needles. Okay, but I'm going to keep it at 100 needles right now. Okay, so now that's all nice and tight. Flip it over. Now, what I'm going to do, which I didn't do when I set it up the first time, I'm going to put a on that down. This is just shelf paper that I, we bought at a hardware store. Okay. You do not need it. I just want it. Okay. And I'm dusting off the area that my machine's going to go. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to lay this down. And this is long enough for my big machine so I don't need all of it but if I decide to trim it I'll trim it line it up on my plastic then figure out where you want the machine to set on your table and see this edge here that has to be level with the front edge of your table right like there okay so that will go like that 
and then you'll take this and remember how I showed you to put it in your hole let me show you up again hang on just a second see that hole what we're going to do is going to take this into this hole so that it hooks onto the metal bar and then bring it down dark and I'm sorry. Ah, that'll work, won't it? And how I put it, I do not put it flat up against the bed. Let me feel that. Let me see how that is. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a there's little yeah, just have it flat up against the bed because of this little piece right there okay so into the hole and flat up against the the table piece and then tighten this you don't want it so tight if you that you raise the back of the bed so while you tighten it you're gonna look at the back of the bed right back here to make sure that doesn't raise Okay, and you're going to do the same thing for the other side. Find the hole, feed it through the hole, keeping the bed of the machine level with the edge of the table. Now the table you would want would be a flat edge. If you don't have a flat edge, just go pick you up a shelf board. All this is one of those particle boards, the shelving. It was like under five dollars at the local hardware store. Or local lumberyard rather. And that's all that board is. Okay, you make it snug. One thing I did forget, which I did want to show you. I have a row counter. And as it's setting right now, I won't be able to lift it. I mean I will, but I might be able to might not like what I do with it. So I'm going to release this edge. I'm not going to bother taking out that clamp. I'm going to raise the bed up, slide this under, So and I'm doing it so it's centered on the machine. Okay? And then I'm tightening the bed back down. Okay? Now, guess what we get to do? We get to put some needles in. Oops. Sorry about that. <coughs> now, when you're putting the needles in, you pretty much don't want to put it on this last section. So each section will hold 15 needles and the reason for that is that's where the carriage is going to rest and change directions okay that's why you don't put needles here okay so just start loading the needles up okay now there's eight sections two of which is for your carriage to rest on so that leaves six sections and six times five if you've only got the regular though just the one bed it will be a hundred needles but because I have more than one bed I'm gonna be able to put more than a hundred needles on here okay this is the time-consuming spot part so I'll be back after I get all these in there. Okay? Hold on, please. Be right back. <laughs> 